You're listening to Footscray Live. And today we're coming to you live from Footscray City College. For this interview, we'll be interviewing an alumni, and I'm Piper. I'm Stanley. I'm Archie. And I'm Marley. Today we're joined by Darcy. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys going? Yeah, good. You good? Um, how's your, I know that you graduated last year, how's your first year been outside of school? Oh, it's been great, I've been working at the Arts Centre doing a, a traineeship there in lighting, so I've been doing heaps of work on all their operas, ballets, musicals, heaps and heaps of stuff like that, mm. that's been really cool. And I know that you have been working around the school and stuff for some of our mm. shows, how's that been coming back? Yeah, it's been really cool because I sort of went away with not much knowledge about theatre and, and lighting and tech and then I came back after doing you know half a half a year of work at the art center or more and i've just been able to you know come back with all this new knowledge and be able to help the school and teach kids uh, different ways to do stuff it's been really really great yeah um so i'm marley by the way hey, marley. um what uh shows have you been working on at the art center oh so many um just to mention a few currently i'm working on the opera so i'm working on turandot um i just did got done doing the production company show ragtime okay. um i did lazarus which is another production company show mm-hmm. um alice in wonderland the ballet sylvia the ballet lack the ballet all all the really big shows that they've yeah. been putting on throughout the year yeah, yeah. um are you coming back to here for any more um musicals Um, Yeah, probably. So I was just um, doing some work in the theatre today, actually, and I'm hoping to keep um, coming back and helping um, doing work on musicals and and doing lots of lighting stuff and making things just better and better for the school. Cool. So um, through your work, you must meet a lot of nice people. Um, And I take it that the show's really good. What's your your favourite one that you've done so far? Oh, don't ask me that. (laughs) Um, Too late. Yeah. Oh, jeez. your boss will be listening. <laughs> I'll, I'll ramble and say, yeah, there's a lot of really nice people that I get to work with, but I think my the most enjoyable show I got to work on was Alice in Wonderland, the ballet, mm-hmm. just because it was really, it was just really strange. It had a lot of weird um, projections and weird costumes, and there was lots of animals and random stuff going on. I just, I thought it was really different compared to all the old classical stuff that I was getting to work on throughout the year. Yeah. What, what do you work on when you're doing the musicals? Um, so when I'm doing the shows um, here yeah. at uh, um, Footscray? like anywhere. Anywhere. Like so for Alice in Wonderland, for example. Yeah. So for Alice in Wonderland, I was doing um, like stuff on the, on the floor, on the, on the deck for the theatre. So I was doing things like smoke machines and running cables along stage to all the different set that comes on and off stage. So making sure it's really out of the way of all the performers. And it's quite a simple job, but it's really important to get it right so everyone's safe and there's no dangers around the place. Um, I know that this year you've had off from uni. Do you have any plans mm-hmm. for doing a course next year? Um, yeah, so I was I was hoping to get in, to do some acting courses next year, but unfortunately I didn't get in. Um, so next year I'm hoping to maybe just get into some more short courses and just get um, some more um, performance side of things um, kicking along at the same time as doing the technical stuff. So mm. yeah, that's currently the, the aim. And yeah. um, how do you feel about Footscray changing into Footscray High? Oh, it's a big shift, you know. It's it, it was a bit it was a bit jarring at first, but I think it's really good because there's a lot of um, like schools like Gilmore, which I thought were you know um, I felt quite disconnected from, and I think it's really nice that there's now just a bigger, um, broader um, facility for all the students to operate under, and I think it's nice to. Um, separate the um, the senior and junior campus as well. I, I personally think that's a good um, mm-hmm. decision because as a senior student, it's really nice to be able to focus on things um, without a lot of the extra distractions and also to sort of um, be able to, you know, work more on things that you enjoy without getting distracted about other things. And also I think it's nice for junior kids to be away from the big, scary, mm. older kids. Not when that anyone's scary here, but yeah. I think that's, yeah. When you thing. were at Footscray, do you think it was easy or hard to complete your senior year levels with a good outcome? I thought it was really, really um, simple and straightforward for me. I, I, I spent a lot of time working with, with my teachers and, and getting help from the teachers because there's a lot of really good teachers at this school that are really helpful with students and it's um, um, one of the best things that I really liked about coming in here is all the teachers that were really happy to help. Mm. Yeah. Um, just back to the question that was previously asked about transitioning to Footscray High School, do you mm-hmm. think that will have any effect on, say, the musicals that we put on or anything like that? I think it will it'll, uh, potentially make a, a big um, 
uh, effect on the musicals, depending on how they want to um, structure yeah. it. But I think um, having the campuses being separate, I think, will be nice because it will allow the, the junior students to have a lot more opportunity to um, commit more and, and have more of a say and, and do more things. So I know the biggest problem has always been that year 10s and 11s and 12s get to dominate the theatre and it becomes mm. a bit intimidating for younger students. And I, I felt that as well. And I think separating the, the schools will greatly impact that and make things probably um, shine a lot more for all the other students, which would be really nice. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, will you come to the open day later at 2 o'clock? Oh, today, later at 2 o'clock? I, I don't think I'll be able to, unfortunately, okay. but I'm sure it'll be really good. It's always good these years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks so much for coming in, Darcy. No it was worries. really good yeah, getting the inside you. scoop. Um, make thanks, sure to bro. tune in again later for more alumni interviews. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. You're listening to Footscray Live.